All right, guys, here we go, here we go. Holy cow! Did you guys see that? Oh my God, it's a monster. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In today's episode, I'm heading back to the location where I caught that monster bowfin, and I hooked into a giant fish. That fish came off. I asked if you guys would want me to go back and try to catch that fish. A lot of you said yes, so I'm heading back there today to hopefully complete that goal. I am on foot to the fishing spot and I am excited. That fish I hooked into last time I was out here was like nothing I've ever felt. It was heavy. So I'm hoping I get a second chance and land it today. I finally made it to the fishing spot and I am noticing a ton of big gar floating at the surface. A lot of you have mentioned using rope lures. I've actually done that in the past. I'll link the video in the description if you guys wanna watch that. I made this bad boy almost Two years ago, I made a bunch. They usually only last a few fish, but uh, here is one of the last ones I have. Now you may notice that there is a hook on this rope lure, and that is for line tying purposes only. That is, uh, that is not what catches the fish. What catches the fish is this unwound nylon rope. The gar's teeth get tangled in this, and essentially, once they bite it, they can't untangle themselves, and you just reel them in. I'm gonna wait for a big one to come close, toss in front of it and see if uh, see if it goes for it there's a fish fish on there's a gar oh you guys I think this is a spotted gar I've never caught one of these before this will be a new species for me Oh, he's off, no. Dang, that was a crazy jump. I only brought one of these and it's looking pretty mangled. Dang, that fish looks so cool. Oh, he just bit it. Fish on, no, darn it. Holy cow, you guys, that is a big one. Here we go. Oh, I think he has it. No, no, it came out of his mouth. He had it. The big one had it. No, no. Confession, I have only caught long nose gar using this technique. Oh, there's a big one. I don't know if it works as good with short nose gar or spotted gar for that matter. Okay, I have been fishing for almost 15 minutes. The rope lure has not caught me a gar yet. It came close, but I was unable to actually land one. So I'm gonna rig up my bow fishing rod and my surface spinning tackle rod. So I'm gonna get those out there and uh, hopefully I'll be able to hook into that monster fish today. All right, I've got a nice piece of frozen carp rigged up on my bow fishing rod. I'm gonna cast it out there and see what I can catch. Oh, you guys, something's already got my bow fishing rod. All right, here we go, guys. Fish on, fish on, guys. No, it's off, that looked like a big fish, dang it. So here's what I'm working with. I have a solid block of Asian carp that I caught out at that spillway where I've been catching those monster gar. I took some home, froze it, and here's what I have, a big popsicle, big popsicle of frozen carp. And these fish absolutely love these things. All right, I'm gonna toss around my little micro Helgramite crankbait. I had some pretty good luck with this last time I was out here. Give it a shot today. Fish on. First fish of the day, guys. Oh, it's a little bluegill. I will take it. I'm actually gonna use this guy for bait. Perfect size. Ooh, someone's taking off with my bait. I don't know how long they had it. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. What in the world? Oh my gosh, you guys, my first 
spotted gar. These fish look so cool. Go ahead and let this guy go. See you later, buddy. That was so cool. Something is fiddling with my bowfin rod. All right, guys, there's a bunch of slack line. Might have a fish on. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, it's a gar. Holy cow. No way. <laughs> it's another spotted gar and this one is a whole lot bigger than that first one. Dang. All right, let's see how much this big mama weighs. 3.32. Look at how wide this fish is. Holy cow. I've never caught a gar this wide. See you later, buddy. Spotted gar have to be one of the coolest looking freshwater fish. And I saw a ton of them the first time I came out here, but I was unsuccessful at catching any. I know there are some monsters out here, so hopefully I'll be able to hook into one, maybe twice that one size before it gets too late. Something just took off with my bobber. Holy cow. Something is taking off with my bait underneath my bobber. I'm gonna give them a minute to eat and then I'm gonna set this hook. All right guys, here we go. Fish on. Ooh, big fish. Oh, it's a gar. Yes! No, 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 no. Oh, oh my gosh. He just came off. He just came off. No, 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 no. Easy, buddy. Not as big as that second one, but still really nice spotted gar. These fish are so cool looking. See you later, buddy. Fish on. Hey! It's a little yellow bass. That's pretty cool. See you later, buddy. Ooh, something has the bait underneath my bobber. Oh, they're taking off. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Holy hell. No. That was a big one. That was a big, that was a big fish. Fish on. Oh, it's a crappie. Oh, see you later, buddy. Fish on. Oh, what was that? No, 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 I lost my crankbait. I think that was a gar. It was shaking its head like crazy. I've been out here for almost five hours today. I have not landed that monster fish yet. It is, uh, it should be feeding time. It's about 5 p.m. So hopefully these monster fish are gonna start moving around and feeding and I'll be able to land one. Also, I have not landed a bowfin. I've caught a few spotted gar and a handful of other fish, but not a single bowfin, which is weird because last time I was catching a ton of those. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, there's a fish. That's a nice one. I think this is a bowfin. I'm not sure yet though. Yes, <laughs> finally caught a bowfin. It's a nice one. Let's see how much this big mama weighs. 3.57, so just over three and a half pounds. Holy cow, see you later, buddy. Dang. <laughs> so far today, I've caught my first and new personal best spotted gar, and I finally caught a bowfin. Those are two of my favorite freshwater fish. The last thing I need to do is catch that monster fish. Let's see if we can do it, guys. It's 
something's been messing with the bait for a couple of minutes. I don't think it's a big fish, so I'm gonna go for a hook set. I have a feeling this is a small fish though. All right, here we go. Yeah, nothing. I'm pretty sure that was just a... Oh, never mind. There's a fish. It... Holy cow. He's pulling that drag. Holy smokes. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh. Holy cow, you guys, that's a monster. <laughs> no way. I thought it was a small fish, but it was just running towards me. 6.56. So a little over six and a half pounds. The second biggest bow fin I've ever caught. This thing's a beast. Holy cow. <laughs> See you later, buddy. <laughs> Dang. Coming in at six and a half pounds, that is the second largest bowfin I've ever caught. Let's see if I can catch a bigger one. When it comes to rigging these Asian carp, I'm just hooking them through the bottom lip, up through the skull so it stays on the hook nicely. I have that on a bottom fishing rig with this slip sinker, so whenever the fish picks it up, I let them run for a little bit, and then I set the hook. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. Holy cow, did you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that was insane. This is a nice one. Holy smokes. That was so cool. I need a bigger net. I need a bigger net. Yes! Oh my gosh! You guys, it's a monster. Holy smokes. This dude went flying out of the water. 5.64. So a little over five and a half pounds. What an awesome fish. This is one of the strongest fighting bowfin I've ever caught. Holy cow. See you later, buddy. That was awesome. What an incredible fish. That guy went flying out of the water when I hooked up to him. But let me know what you guys think. Do you enjoy these spillway videos? Because I personally have a lot of fun coming to these unique locations to see what monsters might be lurking. So if you'd like to see more of this content, leave a like and comment on this video. But I have that out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. All right, guys, I'm not gonna be as picky anymore. I just want to catch one. Uh, I lied. I'm going to be picky. I want a big one. You know the bug spray is good whenever it burns when you put it on. Shoot. 